So I'm super curious how they're going to wrap this up, especially after our last episode ended. But this episode has someone playing baseball in the thumbnail. So is there someone with a baseball power about to come in and smack some shit? I'm so curious. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Jujutsu Kaisen, episode 21. If you guys see me do this at all, it's because my allergies are killing me today. Um, last episode, we had Hanami about to do a domain expansion. We had Gojo going crazy, dealing with Juzo. We had the blonde guy who Juzo made a sword for run away. There's just so many things I'm curious about. I don't even know if Hanami was exercised. Hanami could be dead right now. I really have no idea. I just gotta figure out what's going on. I can't waste any more time. I gotta go. Remember though, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links for that are in the description. If you guys wanna support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment down below, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell if you guys already haven't, just to know exactly when I post over here on the Dappers channel. And then don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter at Dapper Darius. We also have TikTok now, guys, if you guys wanna see early access or highlights or anything else trust me you guys are going to be able to see a lot of stuff over there on tiktok the dapper darius over there and don't forget we have a p.o box if you guys ever want to send me anything all the info is in the description like always let's get into this jujutsu kaisen episode 21 jujutsu koshien i have no idea mm. are we seeing their hideout or anything what's going on Hanami actually barely made it out of that. That is insane. Gojo almost obliterated her. That's so weird. The sword is a hand, so you don't have to be strong because it grips onto you. Oh. oh, all six of the ones that they let out. That, oh, so that was that's why they distracted the school and another one cursed womb death paintings one through three what the fuck oh wow i had no idea that's actually super cool the little details you know they have levels of defense and and we, they were able to get through them yeah i was, about, I was literally writing his name down so i was curious immortality technique Oh, so he's probably old as shit, huh? That's so interesting. I'm loving the world building. I'm loving the lore. Understandable. He's he's quite the wild card. He does have such an interest in Megumi. I forgot completely about that. Ghetto is so smart. It's actually crazy. Ghetto's thinking of so many contingencies yep i fully agree with that he is a bomb october 31st in shibuya so is that why okay okay i'm not gonna lie i don't mean to pause it but they just dropped a whole bunch of shit on me so the temples at the school i'm just doing this for my own processing guys the temples at the school are facade they change positions due to tengen's barrier tengen is a jujutsu sorcerer with an immortality technique but not youth so he does age so think of him as a tree because trees can be hundreds of years old you know um that's so interesting i do like how his only aspect and goal is to keep up the barrier it's like I wonder, I would love, like, like, you know world building is so good in a show when you just want backstory on anyone you meet. Like the girl who we saw for half a second who taught Toto Jujutsu Sorcery, I want a whole backstory on her. Tengen, whole backstory. I want to know at what point in his life did he realize, okay, my, my duty is to uphold this barrier. I'm the only one who can do this. And like, I, I want to know all that. The Jujutsu Sorcerers, when he was there, I, mean, I can go on about that for a few minutes, but uh the doors of there's only one in the thousand doors throughout all this facade and the barriers and all this interweaving awesomeness that leads to the storeroom and then that which holds you know the the special grade cursed objects such as the fingers such as the cursed womb paintings one through three not a clue what that means and then that mixed with the whole distraction deal we had everyone do at the school so mahito could do all of this work to retrieve these fingers is just insane so 
I want to know, like, did they have to kill? Because Ghetto said to Mahito, thin out the sorcerers standing at the school. So did anyone die during this? We saw two bodies when Mahito retrieved the finger last episode. Oh, damn, those must have been sorcerers. Or those were the attendants to Tengen. Damn. R.I.P. those two. I'm just now really. I just thought they were humans. I mean, R.I.P. humans anyway, but damn, like, they're making moves. I, like, I love the strategy and the, the smarts that actually go behind a lot of these actions. Toto, super strong, yet super analytical and smart. I'm, I'm all digging it. I'm digging it. Casualties. This is what I was curious about. Three second grade, one semi first. Five assistant supervisors. Oh, yep, and the two curse, yep, store, yep. Yeah, he's talking about coat racks and ripping people apart, all that weird stuff. Oh, damn. They got him all tied up. White hair and a bob. Ooh, new character. Yup, monk kid. That's so crazy. Yeah, I mean, its powers are so close to... Yeah, plants. It's so close to nature. With... Really? That's good to know. I know. I have no idea either. I wish I was... I'm like you. I'm questioning. That's an interesting long story. Much stronger. Very happy. Gotta be strong to make stuff go your way in order to have that power. Hey, friendly rivalries are always good. Breeds competition, breeds strength. <laughs> My brother's friends for you, Toto, out of nowhere. <laughs> I love how that's his reality. That whole flashback and everything, that's his act. Oh, he got you. What's going on with this baseball game? No, you're pretty dope, Miwa. Whoa, Yuji plays catcher? Oh, of course, Maki's the pitcher. Gojo's the ump. You guys heard that? That was another video rendering. He's he spitting facts. Reliably crazy. Oh, really? Pulling a name out of a hat. And we got baseball. Surprised me when I was young, but it doesn't surprise me at all now. The baseball scene in Japan is wild. It is nuts. They are amazing at baseball. Shouts out Ichiro over here, Seattle, baby. Ooh, good swing. Momo's running. Oh, no. If they catch it, you got to go back. What are you doing, Momo? You're out. That's a double. I love how Yuji's the catcher. Gojo's the ump. Because his whole goal was to kill him, exercise him. Proper death. That, I love Demon Dog Black in the background. Oh. Though he relates to that motivation. Because we know Camo's whole motivation is his mom. I'm a mama's boy, so I can always relate to a character whose motivation is her mother. Okay. 
That is a good reason. I know. He just didn't even want to swing. He's approaching the mound. That's how Mechum. That's how Mechamaru plays. That is hilarious. Damn, Nobara, good swing. Ooh, safe. My boy Megumi's about to knock this out. She gonna steal? Oh, ooh, the bunt. Toto's the catcher. <laughs> oh, Panda's knocking this. He just said wants to punch a zebra one day. That's interesting. All right, first and third. With Maki up to bat. If Maki doesn't get a home run, the one thing she can't tolerate is protein powder. That's interesting. That's Maki for you. Is that even legal? But that's hilarious. Of course, the I know. <laughs> Why are they doing him so dirty like that? <laughs> nice, Peachy. Nice, Peach. I know. That was so fucked up. Now that is an unchangeable fact. Case in point, literally last episode. I wonder why he's thinking of Ghetto. Why that's being pictured right now. I agree. I like Masamichi a lot. You can tell he's a man with regrets because he's always talking about regrets. But he's one who's been super mature and he accepts it, you know? We can save our regrets for after that. And my boy Yuji. Oh, I love that sound with that blue ass sky. Everyone's looking up. He nailed it. Oh, even past Momo. That's how you know it was a nasty hit. All right, sister school exchange event, second day's baseball competition, the 30th annual. Wow, 30 years we won Tokyo. That's us, baby. Let's go. Oh. I swear, even a fun ass episode like that felt like it went over in five minutes. I'm so mad. So a lot of arcs in anime, especially ones that have such intense, deep and crazy fights and cool moments will always have somewhat of a slower episode to get people. It's, it's just that lower part of the roller coaster that builds you right back up to those crazy moments. I enjoyed the absolute hell out of that. But you can totally tell that we're building up to some more stuff, especially with I don't know, because we only have 22, 23 and 24. I'm curious. Is it going to set it up kind of like Demon Slayer where it sets up the next arc and then we jump into the, and that's what the next part's going to be? Because I do know a movie's been announced, but I think it's a prequel movie, so I don't think it has anything to do with the end of this arc. Or is this going because Jujutsu Kaisen's pretty fast paced. Is this going to be a whole arc in three episodes? I'm curious how they're going to wrap this up. I won't lie. Obviously, I haven't been spoiled on anything. I have heard these last episodes are insane. So I definitely am excited to watch them. Definitely excited to figure out what goes down, but I also have not a clue. In terms of that baseball game, uh, it was great because we officially finished the arc with this one because that was the end of the exchange event right here. We won two years in a row Let's because we won last year. Let's go. Awesome, awesome. Fantastic baseball game. I'm sad we didn't get to see Yuji pitcher with <laughs> Toto batter. Maki hitting him in the face with that pitch was just outlandishly hilarious. That whole game, though, was just awesome, funny. I love the lore drop we got at the beginning with Tengen, the barrier, um, the special grade cursed objects that they were able to gather, the um, couldn't tell if it was a boy or girl monk with the white hair and the bob cut. Like, so much stuff was dropped. You know, I'm so curious.
Mm, man, I can't wait. I actually, mm, I kind of want to... I kind of, I just got to watch this next episode right now. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys have not subscribed, make sure to subscribe so you guys always get notified. Click that bell. Um, check out the Patreon if you guys don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes. We are four episodes ahead, so, which means maybe the show that's replacing it will be up here relatively soon. Other than that, Dapper Squad, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace out.